Dear students, now let us discuss next set of problems based on integral calculus. Here I have taken a very beautiful problem and very interesting problem also. And of course, you cannot use any shortcut here except using basics of mathematics. The problem is like this j is equal to integral of 0 to 1 cos x by root x dx, k is equal to integral of 0 to 1 sin x by root x dx. Which of the following is true? k less than 2 by 3, j less than 2. Option b, k greater than 2 by 3, j greater than 2. Option c, k less than 2 by 3, j greater than 2. Option c, k greater than 2 by 3, j less than 2. Dear students, evaluating the integrals of sin x by root x and cos x by root x is not required here. Rather, we can use a basic sense. What is that? Do you agree with me? Sin x is less than x. Of course, when x lies between 0 and 1. Otherwise, also sin x is less than x. And we have a proof for that. You can observe carefully here. The graph of sin x between 0 and 1 is like this. Right? And y is equal to x is like this. This is y is equal to x, this is y is equal to sin x. x is greater than sin x. Sin x is less than x and straight away we can say sin x over root x is less than x over root x. Do you agree with me? Therefore, integral of sin x over root x dx must be less than, of course, between 0 to 1, must be less than integral of 0 to 1 x by root x. Can I write it as root x dx? So, what is integral of root x? x power 3 by 2 into 2 by 3. That is nothing but equal to, when it is evaluated to 1 and 0, it is clearly equal to 2 by 3. That means to say, sin x by root x dx is less than integral of 0 to 1 root x dx. That is actually this part is equal to 2 by 3. That means to say as this is k, we can straight away say this implies k is less than 2 over 3. This must be the major part of the solution. k is less than 2 by 3. Therefore, option A is correct. Option B is removed, option D is removed, option C must be correct. One of these two, either A or C must be correct. Now the next line is, we have cos x by root x. Dear students, you must know this, that is, cos x is definitely less than 1 when evaluated between 0 and 1. You can observe here, dear students the graph of cos x is like this. Do you agree with me? And it is definitely less than 1 when it x lies between 0 and 1. Cos x is less than 1. Therefore, what we can say is cos x over root x is definitely less than 1 over root x. Is that correct? This implies integral 0 to 1 cos x over root x dx must be less than integral 0 to 1 1 over root x dx. What is 1 by root x dx dear students? 1 by root x is 2 root x evaluated between 0 and 1 upper limit is 1 lower limit is 0 2 into root 1 minus 2 into 0 that is definitely this is definitely equal to 2. Do you agree with me? Therefore, what we can say here is, instead of writing cos x by root x, I will write j. 1 by root x evaluated between 0 and 1 integrated is 2. Therefore, j is less than 2. j less than 2, k less than 2 by 3, option a is clearly correct. Do not get confused about this. This is basic integration. Anybody can do this. Understanding this, dear students? Yeah, make a note of this. Now, we shall move on to the next question. Now, 
let me introduce the next concept that is let us consider the graph of cos x when x lies between 0 and 1 anyway the graph of cos x is like this this is 0 this is pi by 2 0 and 1 means this particular thing between 0 and 1 open interval cos x is definitely a value less than 1 do you agree with me cos x cos x is less than 1 if you say cos x is less than 1 let me write it here cos x is less than 1 cos x by root x is definitely less than 1 over root x this implies integral 0 to 1 cos x over root x dx that is equal to j is less than integral 0 to 1 1 by root x dx that is dx over root x what is dx over root x or what is integral of 1 by root x with respect to x dear students 1 by root x with respect to x so 1 by root x is 2 root x upper limit is 1 2 into root 1 lower limit is 0 2 into root 0 that is 2 into 1 that is equal to 2 that clearly says j is less than 2 very very important logic we have already got k is less than 3 and we got j is less than 2 that means option a is correct and option d c is wrong option c we have got j greater than 2 i hope dear students you have understood this problem now let us go to the next problem And the next problem is y is equal to fractional part of x power integral part of x then integral 0 to 3 y dx is option a 1 option b 11 by 6 option c 3 and option d is 5 by 6. Look at this dear students we have fractional part of x power integral part of when x belongs to 0 to 1 x belongs to 0 to 1 fractional part of x is nothing but equal to x and what about integral part of x must be equal to 0 this is a familiar concept to you dear students you must have studied this in your first year PUC otherwise also it is not a big problem but when x lies between 0 and 1 fractional part of x is x integral part of x is 0 when x belongs to when x belongs to 1 to 2 fractional part of x is what fractional part of x is given by x minus 1 what about integral part of x dear students integral part of x is equal to 1 when all the values of x when x lies between 1 and 2 integral part of x is equal to 1 coming to the third one if x belongs to x belongs to 2 to 3 of course including 2 excluding 3 fractional part of x is nothing but equal to x minus 2 integral part of x is equal to 2 is that correct this you should have studied in your first PC otherwise you can make a note of this now the question is the question is integral integral 0 to 3 I will split it as 0 to 1 plus 1 to 2 plus 2 to 3 or you can write integral of 0 to 3 fractional part of x power integral part of x dx you can split this as integral integral 0 to 1 fractional part of x is x what is integral part of x integral part of x when it x lies between 0 and 1 is 0 plus plus what integral 1 to 2 fractional part of x is what x minus 1 power integral part of x is what 1 with respect to x is that correct plus integral integral 1 to 2 is over then it is 2 to 3 what is fractional part of x fractional part of x is x minus 2 
x minus 2 power what is integral part of x that is equal to 2 with respect to x. I hope dear students you are following this. Now we have to evaluate this. How to evaluate this? Look at this. Look at this dear students. Between 0 to 1, 0 to 1, what is the value of x power 0? Of course, dx is missing, I am writing. What is x power 0? x power 0 is 1. 1 with respect to x. What is integral of 1? x. Upper limit is what? 1. Lower limit is what? 0. So, x that has to be evaluated between 0 and 1. Then comes plus plus x minus 1 power 2 by 2. Do you agree with me? That is x minus 1 whole square by 2. Is that correct? x minus 1 whole square by 2. This has to be evaluated between 1 and 2. Is that correct? Plus. What is integral of x minus 2 whole square? That is x minus 2 whole cube by 3 this has to be evaluated between 2 and 3. See how simple it is. Now, this is definitely 1 minus 0 that is equal to 1. Is that correct? So, that is 1 plus when upper limit is substituted you will get 2 minus 1, 1 by 2 correct. Lower limit is substituted is 0, 1 plus 1 by 2 plus when upper limit is substituted, you will get 3 minus 2. What is 3 minus 2? 1. 1 cube is what? 1. 1 by 3. When lower limit is substituted, you will get 2 minus 2, 0. That is 1 by 3. What is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1? That is nothing but equal to 11 by 6, dear students. 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 is nothing but equal to 11 by 6. Therefore, option B is correct. Understanding this, dear students? It is a very, 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 very simple problem. I hope you have followed this. Now, let us go to the next problem. Now, let us discuss another complicated problem. Look at the board, dear students. We have integral of square root of 2012 power 2x divided by 1 minus 2012 power 2x into 2012 power sin inverse of 2012 power x dx is. Of course, there are four options. Let us not look into the options now. Let us try to solve this. Because of course, one of these four must be correct. But which one is correct? Let us try to analyze from this. We have integral of Numerator 2012 power 2x under root will definitely give us 2012 power x. Do you agree with me? See, just see here, I am just putting root for this. Right? That root will become 1 by 2 here divided by divided by root of 1 minus 2012 power x whole square, do you agree with me? Whole square into 2012 power sin inverse of 2012 power x. Of course, lot of 2012s. Maybe the person who has said this question should be, should have love with that number. 2012 power x, can we substitute that as t? Let us see what happens. If we put 2012 power x as t, then what happens is 2012 power x. Let 2012 power x is equal to t. What happens if we differentiate? This implies 2012 power x divided by differentiation of 2012 power x is 2012 power x into log of 2012 or 2012 power x into dx is equal to dt over log of 2012. I hope you are not getting confused there. 
Now what happens? 2012 power x wherever we have, let me write it as t and continue. Integral, this will become t, denominator becomes 1 minus t square. This is 2012 power sin inverse of 2012 power x. That is 2012 power sin inverse of t. Sin inverse of t. Do you agree with me? dx is given by dt, dx is given by 2012 power x into dx should give us dt over log of 2012 power x, but wait dt over log of 2012 power x, but I am just substituting for dx, therefore 2012 power x should come to the denominator, that means to say I am writing t here, do not get confused. Dt, dx is equal to dt over log of 2012 power x into 2012 power x. This t cancels with this t. Now, can we substitute sin inverse of t as y? If we substitute sin inverse of t as y, then what happens is 1 by root of 1 minus t square into dt will be dy. If this is treated as y, dt over root of 1 minus t square must be considered as dy. So, what you will get now? Integral of integral of 2012 power 2012 power let us say y dt over root of 1 minus t square will be dy. Is that correct? dy dy divided by so, it should be log of 2012 denominator divided by log of 2012, okay, okay. log of 2012 to base e of course, they, I, I had misinterpreted, I had written x while integrating you will get, see this to log of 2012 I should have written, I have written x and I have removed it, do not get confused. So, now what is 2012 power y integration with respect to y? That is nothing but equal to 2012 power y divided by log of 2012 to base e. That means, we already have one log of 2012, we will get one more log of 2012 whole square. So, 2012 power y, what is y dear students? y is equal to sin inverse of t, what is t? 2012 power x. See, one log, log of 2012 to base e, if we are taking that to the numerator, we will get log e to base 2012, log e to base 2012 whole square, 2012 power sin inverse of 2012 power x, option A is correct. I hope dear students, you have understood this complicated problem. This looks like complicated, but it is very, very easy. Please make a note of this. Now, we shall go to next question.